Hi everyone, so I am back with my um, travel packing video. A lot of you wanted to see this video and I did say that I would do it. So in here we have got my bag that I am taking away with me. This is just a hand luggage size personal baggage for Ryan A. And then at the side I just have a little kind of like overbody bag, um, which I'm going to try and sneak on. I might get stopped. If I do, I still have room in here to kind of stuff that in there, but... Yeah, so I have things packed in here already. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take everything out and I'm going to repack it with you guys and just show you what I am taking. Um, you're all aware I am going away for three nights. It's like four days, three nights. Um, so I never booked luggage or anything. I don't need a great deal. Um, and obviously we wanted to be a cheap weekend. So this is why we never booked any luggage. So I'm just going to start unpacking things and then obviously... I'm going to put things back in with you guys and I'll go through everything then. So you've obviously all seen my toiletry bag anyway. Um, I just added a couple of little contact lenses in there as well. So let me just take the things out that I'm taking and then like I say I will kind of go through everything with you guys as well and um, you actually can fit quite a bit into this bag i'm actually really surprised um i did get this bag for christmas i think i showed it in my what i got for christmas video um so yeah i'm i'm quite happy and pleased with what is in there okay now I haven't overpacked. Um, obviously, like I say, this. Oh, I've just totally threw everything away there. Never mind. This is this is the size of bag that I have. This bag came from Amazon, and if you just type in Ryanair luggage bag, these will come up. Apparently, these are the exact dimensions that you need for a Ryanair flight because this bag has to actually fit in the like underneath the seat in front of you we are not allowed any kind of cabin space or anything so whatever we're packing this bag has to fit underneath the seat in front of us and these are the exact dimensions um that is what it's like inside just a plain bag um just like this quite roomy and then you have this if you were taking a case as well you do have this here which can slide on your case my stuff is covered in dog hair i really need to use my lint roller to get it off um and then you also have this little zippy pocket here, which I'm going to pop boarding passes and things in there. So let's get started with what I am packing. So the first thing that I want to put in, okay, you are probably going to think that I'm absolutely weird. Does anyone else get this? When they go away to a different country or even in your own country and you stay in a hotel, I am really, really funny about staying in hotel beds. Um, and I can't let my skin touch like the mattress or the bed sheets. That sounds so weird. It really does. But I've just got this phobia of sleeping in somebody else's bed. Um, so I'm not taking pajamas to sleep in. I'm actually taking an old tracksuit to sleep in. And this tracksuit is old. Um, obviously I have worn it a lot. So I'm taking it to sleep in and then I'm just going to leave it there. I'm not going to be bringing it back with me. Um, but usually when I go away, <laughs> I do kind of sleep in like jogger bottoms and a hoodie and things. I'm really, really weird like that. I don't know what it is. I feel like I've been like that forever. So the first thing that I'm going to be packing is just some grey jogger bottoms and a grey hoodie. Like I say, these are old um, and I will be leaving them there. It's just a plain pair of like tracksuit bottoms, just Primark tracksuit bottoms. And a really old grey hoodie that I've had for a long time that has actually seen better days um but like i say i'm going to be leaving it there so it really does not make no difference to me at all so i'm going to try and just roll these up like a little bit just like that and then i'm going to stuff them right into the bag there the same with the pants so we've got the hoodie in there now i'm just going to kind of like fold and roll if you can um, I've seen a thing where people say it's best to actually roll your clothes for travel. Apparently you fit more in. So we do have those in there, okay? So you can see we've got those two in there and we still have a boatload of room in there. So I'm happy about that. Okay, so 
that's our tracksuit to sleep in because I'm a weirdo. Yes, I know. Okay, then I am taking two pairs of my fluffy leggings, the ones that I got from Primark. I did again feature them in my um, Christmas video. So I got these type ones, which are like give the jean look, but these are fluffy inside. I have recently just checked the weather in Latvia and it is actually snowing. So I'm going to pack the denim type ones and then just the plain black ones as well. So again, I'm just kind of, these um, leggings are quite um, like thick, obviously, because they have the, the fur inside. So I can't like roll them into like a roll type thing. So I'm just going to fold them as small as I can, really. So I'm like folding them in half and then probably like in half again. Yeah. Uh -huh. So that'll do. So I am only taking three pairs of pants with me. Obviously these two um, fleecy leggings here. And then obviously I will be traveling in a pair of pants as well, which I will show you. I do have my stuff to the side where I'm actually going to be wearing to travel in. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to pack as little as I can because I don't want to be traipsing lots of stuff about, okay? So in there we have a hoodie, tracksuit bottoms and two pairs of leggings and that takes up basically the full side. I mean, if I push these right down, I could definitely fit more in. Um, so that's that. We're doing really, really well so far. Next, I am also just taking a plain grey sweatshirt. Again, just from Primark. Um, I was going to take hoodies and hoodies would be ideal for the weather that I'm going in. But my coat that I'm taking is like a massive, massive puffer coat. It's really, really big, really long. So I feel like I get flustered with a hoodie underneath as well. So I've opted for just like sweatshirts. So again, I'm taking this grey sweatshirt, which will go with either the denim style leggings or the plain black leggings. So multi-use because it can be mixed and matched with both. So let me just fold this one up here as well. So I like to fold a jumper in half and then kind of like over again and then pull the sleeves down. So we are left with something like that. And then I do try to roll this one um, as best I can. And that is what we are left with there. So we've tended to roll that one. So that is just going to get chucked in the bottom there. Which way will I do that? I'll do that that way actually. We'll pop that that way. So you can see which way we've popped that in the bag there. Because I do have another jumper to go in. So my second jumper that I'm taking. Is this lovely one. This was just from H&M. Um, but this is like a lovely, like it's a bit more dressy. It's like a woolly one, a longer one, which will cover my bum with the leggings on. And I've took this one just as a little bit of a more dressy thing. Because obviously we will probably go out for a meal on a night time. So I just wanted something a little bit more dressier than just like a plain sweatshirt. So I've opted for the woolly jumper again. Probably be perfect for the weather. Like I say, this is literally only a weekend break. We are not going wild. We're not going on nights out or anything like that. So this should suffice for a nice little meal out on a night. And again, I am going to tightly roll this one. I don't know how I feel about rolling clothes or does anyone else roll or do you just kind of fold and then put in but that is what we are looking like in the bag so we have a tracksuit and two leggings here and then we have a sweatshirt and our woolly sweatshirt here so far so good right then i have let's do like the tops okay so basically i am taking two just at vest tops, can you see what I mean? I've literally got dog hairs all over. This is absolutely shocking. But basically, these are just two like vest tops. Um, I'm sure you all know what they look like, but I'll just open one out for you so you can see. These are literally just to like layer and go underneath um the jumpers and things. Um, so I have packed a grey one. Just gonna roll this again. 
and these roll up really really small these you can see the size of them so i've rolled up the gray one i'm just going to stuff that in the middle there and then i also have a black one to take as well let me just re-roll that and again both of these colors are perfect for under the sweatshirts and jumpers that i have taken so we'll just roll this one again super duper small right so that is the what do you call it the two vest tops in there right so that's the tops as well then obviously i will be traveling in like a vest top underneath my clothes as well and then i'm also packing a thermal top again just to lay it and pop under things so this is literally the thermal top um, this actually belonged to my mom. I've kind of pinched it off her just to take it with us. It looks like a pyjama top actually, but the material is so thick and so warm. This was from Secret Possessions. This is what Primark used to be before it kind of upgraded and changed the name. So Primark definitely does have thermal tops in, but this is just a lovely long sleeve um, thermal top, which like I say, the weather is freezing. So I definitely want to have something there in case it gets super duper cold i mean i think i'm all right like i say i do have the hugest basically it's like like my coat it's basically like i'm walking about with a sleeping bag um but yeah so we'll roll that one again and i am going to put that just down the side there can you see that we do actually still have loads of room left in this bag really really good so that was the tops what else do we have Okay, so then we have some socks. So I've got some socks here. I have got some black kind of these soft grippy socks. The same with the grey ones. And then I just have a plain pair of black ones as well. Obviously, I will be travelling in some as well. So that's enough to go in the bag. Again, we are just going to use the side spaces for those so that is those just chucked down there underwear which i have put in this little ziploc bag so that i don't have loads of knickers flying about and um, i have five pairs of knickers in here and um, i did actually let the air out of this but i don't think these little ziploc bags are airtight anyway um but yeah top tip put your underwear especially if your underwear is quite small um, just pop it in a little ziplock bag and again just going to make use of the side parts so this is what we are looking like still lots of room left in here um next i just have this will go um like body thing obviously showers when i'm there i need something to scrub my body with so i pick that up then i have my little where i'm at there <laughs> my little mini um hairbrush this is just one of those kind of handheld one things, super soft. Um, it doesn't take up too much room at all, so that's just going to go on the top. I have my toothbrush and toothbrush holder. I always buy a brand new, well, I don't actually always buy a brand new one. Sometimes I take my old toothbrushes and just leave them there and then get a new one for when I come back. But this time I've just bought a brand new one. I needed toothbrushes in the house anyway, so I bought a multi-pack. Um... So my toothbrush and then I bought this little toothbrush holder from Wilco as well. It just keeps your toothbrush nice and clean. So again, we're going to chuck that in there. Um, what else? A lint roller. I am actually taking a lint roller with this because as I've said in this video, my dog's hairs just seem to be absolutely everywhere. I can't escape them. And obviously I'm taking black clothes and if you've got dogs, I'm sure you all know what black clothes are like with dogs. So I'm just packing this lint roller in my bag as well. Can't come in wrong, so we'll just chuck that in there. Then you've all seen my toiletry bag. Um, I did a separate video on this. I will link it below if you do want to watch that one. I'm literally going to put that just on top there because obviously as you go through security you have to take your liquid bag out so that's just going to sit on there like that and then a couple of other things that i am taking i have my phone charger which is a necessity i will always need that i'm just going to take them out so i'll just pop the chargers there and then i am also taking a battery pack and lead as well um always always recommend battery packs if you're out and your phone dies or anything you've got this as a backup so i'm taking that as well um 
I'm also taking a little tripod. I want to try and get some nice videos and pictures and things of my trip away. I feel like I want this year to be all about new adventures, road trips, different places just really good memories i had the worst year of my life last year and i don't know it just gives a different perspective on things i just want to go out i want to do different adventures i want to see different parts of the world so i want my tripod because i do want to film some parts of it and um, so i've got that as well which can just get chucked in there and then yeah i think that is it for the bag so that's what we've managed to get in I'll try and show you like a different angle. We do still have room in the bag. We could still fit a lot more stuff in there. Um, those will just go there. See what I mean? Like all of this, there's still all of this room here that you could actually stuff more stuff in. If you wanted to take different pairs of shoes or anything like that, you could definitely fit a pair of shoes in there. Obviously, I'm not. I'm just going in my boots and that is it. Um, so I'm going to zip this bag up for now just to show you guys how easy it does actually fasten and you can see like if I do this you can see where I scrunch it there's still definitely a lot more room in there um, which is great and then obviously on the way back if I do buy anything I'll have rid of the tracksuit I'll have rid of most of the toiletries because I'll use most of them in the four days anyway but that is my travel bag packed love it i absolutely love this bag and it does come with the long strap as well so that's that and then i just want to quickly touch base on the handbag so what i've got in here this is just like a really really old bag and um, it's just like a crossbody one so in the front here i have got my glasses um obviously you know i do wear prescription lenses so i do need my glasses as well for when i take my lenses out and then I just have three small makeup brushes chucked in there. So that is that in the front. And then in the middle. So you will have seen in my other video that I um, had like a clear bag with plasters and tablets in. I actually took them out of the clear bag and I've just put them into this little pocket here in the bag. I just feel like it's better and more convenient in there. This also has like a zip one. There's nothing in there, so I'm just gonna zip that up. And then just in here, I have my earphones because I do like to watch my YouTube in bed on a night time. So I have those in there and then I just have my little purse. This is just quite a slim purse. I always like to take a slim purse when I go on holiday. Um, and in here, I just have a couple of cards actually i do need to ring my bank and see if it costs to use my actual debit card in latvia and estonia because if it does then i will take my revolut card if i can use my own bank card i'll just take that with this but i do need to ring them actually after this video and double check and then just in here i have some euros in cash some euros in cash yeah some euros in cash and then like from my old holidays ages ago i've got about like six euros in change so i just pop that in there as well we are getting the bus when we get off from the airport so that change will use for bus fare so i think that is actually it and like i say i am going to try and wear this handbag to get through like onto the plane and things but i know ryan and I are a little bit funny sometimes and if you've not bought any baggage like we haven't then they really really restrict you to just your personal baggage so obviously the room that is inside of here the spare room my bag will just actually fit in there no problem and the bag will still zip up there we go that is everything in there so if they see anything about the handbag it can fit in there and then i've still managed to fit everything in this beautiful bag um i'm trying to give you like like <laughs> that is my hand going across it there it's like literally it comes to about here on my arm so, but like I say, these are the perfect, like these are the actual sizes that you are allowed on a Ryanair flight. So if anyone is flying with Ryanair, I definitely recommend this bag. Um, so yeah, that is everything that I've packed. So what have I packed in there? I've done 
a full tracksuit. So we've got a hoodie, a pair of jogger bottoms. We have two pairs of leggings, thick leggings as well. Then I have a sweatshirt, a woolly jumper, two vest tops, a thermal top, three pairs of socks, five pairs of knickers and toiletries, chargers and things like that. So I think that is amazing for the four days that I'm going to be away. So yes, I love it. Right, I'm just going to show you guys what I'm going to be travelling in as well. So let me just bring these in here. So obviously I've got a big gigantic black coat. It goes down to like halfway down my legs. It's really, really thick and everything. So absolutely love it. Then I'm going to be wearing my leather gloves that are featured in my Christmas haul. The same with my Ugg hat, featured that in my Christmas haul as well. I'm going to be wearing these grey jeans too, travelling. I know people are thinking, God, jeans, these are really, really soft. They're more like a jegging than a jean. So I'm going to be wearing those. And then I just packed the rest of my outfit in a sheen bag. So in here, you can see I do have a pair of knickers. <laughs> um, just a plain black top. I actually put a grey pair of leggings in here. So basically, I'm either going to wear the leggings or the jeans, but I think I'm definitely going to wear the jeans. And then I just have a black um, North Face sweatshirt that I'm going to be wearing as well. I'm also going to be taking my grey scarf, which I'm just going to be wearing on my person when I go anyway. Black fluffy socks to go in. And then you will have seen my boots in my Christmas haul video. And I was undecided and I didn't know what to do with them because they weren't really as soft as I wanted them to be. So basically what happened is... I sent them back, like I, I took them back, I returned them. They just weren't comfortable and I think for the amount of time I'm going to be walking about, they, they're just not going to be suitable. They were £35 each, so I did take them back and I got my £70 back. And I actually went on to Vinted and bought a pair of Timberland boots. How cute are these? They are a little bit good because I have worn them. Um these are stunning these are the most comfortable boots i've ever ever worn but i have also put like an insole inside of them as well like a really soft squishy insole because i thought that would just give extra comfort so yeah these are my boots i absolutely love them they're kind of like this suede type i think it's called new book leather but they are leather and i literally paid 10 pound for these off vintage 10 pound i paid for them so I took my two boots back, got £70 back and I managed to pay £10 for these. And like, honestly, I can't grumble. I'm so excited to actually walk about in these. It literally feels like you're walking on clouds. So yes, that is my outfit that I'm wearing to, um, to travel in. And that is my bag packed. And I really don't think I have forgot anything else. Um, yes, I have actually. Well, I haven't forgot it. I just didn't put it in in this video. I need to put in a travel adapter, you know, the two pin plug. But I do have that that's actually over there on my dressing table. So I will pop that in after this video. And then all I need is kind of boarding passes, which are already printed off and passport. And that is it. I am ready to go. So I hope this video has helped you with some things to pack. I always say, and I always used to be an overpacker. Um, you really don't need as much stuff as you think you do, especially for like a weekend break, like a city break. It's not like a full holiday. It's not like you're going to be in blistering hot sunshine. Um, You can always mix and match your outfits. And there's nothing wrong with wearing the same pants or the same jumper two days in a row or like one day, then a different jumper and then wear the other one again. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. As long as you're clean and things, then it's absolutely fine. Um... So yeah, I hope you have all enjoyed it. Um, as always, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the down box below, in the comments below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. I'll see you all in the next one, everyone. Bye.